Yeah. That's about a half a mile from the clubhouse. Um, I, I, I like it because I can stand right next to the green and the guys can't hear me because there's a constant buzz from whatever highway that is out there. He can spin it as much as anybody with this 60. Yeah, that's what that down slope took a little bit of that spin off. That's beautifully judged. This is his fourth putt of the day. Oh, you can't one putt them all if you don't let one putt the first four. Scotty Scheffler, who said he can't putt? Straight and good as he hits it. If I'm Teddy Scott, I'm handing him metal everywhere I can. That is perfect. Well, he was aggressive off the tee. Yeah, pretty aggressive with the second shot. Easy. Oh, yeah. There you go, John. Got him back on his one putt streak. Our Trackman technology is presented by Titleist. The number one ball in golf. What he's telling you is fast putts are slow and slow putts are fast. You got Basically, that? John. Yeah. I'd like him to knock this in. Yeah, it just seemed like you got, you gave him two looks at it before he got to hit it. That had to go in. Got just a little bit of pump head speed there, guys. Yeah, he let one go there, John, on the par five. He had been cruising around 175. That one was up three miles an hour and it was hit right, right there, in man. the right blueprint. Ted likes it. Yeah. Eagle putt coming up. Tough break. <laughs> yeah, tough break. <laughs> it is for the outright lead. Oh. Roll past Six and the hole. Half, seven. Eight point one three when it came to rest beyond the hole, John. As it was going by the hole, it was probably just under eight seven, seconds. Yeah, yeah, seven ish. Yeah. I think you can go ahead and just hit a normal shot. You're right, baby. Come on. Sounded very solid. Yeah. Oh, man, that was absolutely gorgeous. Down the grip. He was fudging on his target. I got him, Joe. I got him. Go ahead. Maybe. He was fudging on his target. No, no, it is just right of it. Now, forgive me. That's what he means by just right of it, folks. I know where you're going. And why wouldn't you? He's just showing us that well, you're the best player in the world. I feel pretty good about his chances of staying bogey free. I mean, that just right down the flag. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that he has too many rounds this year where he hit fewer greens up the hill, moving a little left or right. A good effort. Uh, I mean, he, he missed seven greens today. That's not Scotty like. But I think, what's that, 23, 24 putts somewhere in that neighborhood? No bogeys. Maybe that's the new Scotty, John. Scotty, a little bit different start for you uh, today. You missed the first four greens, but I thought the key stat of the entire round you were seven for seven scrambling. Yeah, yeah, I missed missed the first couple greens. You know, I, I made a nice birdie there on uh, 13, I think. Um, but yeah, some, I would say some key up and downs. You know, I made the nice putt there at the first um, to kind of get the round going, and um, some really nice up and downs after that.
It was such an emotional win at the players. I know you had a week off. Was it easy to re-engage and, and get into this immediately? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty competitive guy, and uh, I took a lot of last week to get some rest and kind of, you know, come down from the last couple of weeks. And so um, got some good rest at home, and, um, you know, I'm going to go get some more rest this afternoon. <laughs> I don't see any kinetic tape. The neck is fine. Yeah, yeah, neck's feeling better. Uh, body feels good. Like I said, the off week was, was good for me to kind of get some rest, get some rehab. You know, I took a couple more days off than I typically would last week, um, so it was some good good recovery time. You're such a Texas guy, UT all the way through. What would it mean to win in your home state? Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. You know, I like supporting events in my home state and playing here as much as I can, and so, um, you know, hoping to get a win this week. How do you like the overseas? It's good. It's good. I was surprised at the lack of rough on the course. Um, you know, I know they're trying to do a little bit of, you know, kind of what the tournament used to be when it was the week before. And, I mean, the golf course is in amazing shape right now. I mean, the, the runoffs are, are fun to play out of. Um, you know, it's in good shape. I was just a bit surprised, I think, with the lack of rough. But other than that, um, you know, like I said, place in great shape. And you don't need rough to make this course pretty tough. I think it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty difficult over the next few days with the wind picking up. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.